Adaptive bitrate video is an alternative mechanism to deliver video streams. Rather than streaming the video as a continuous single stream of packets out from the network to a client, in adaptive bitrate, the client actually is requesting the video. What we do is we take that video stream, and we break it into a series of chunks. Each of those chunks is a file of it on its own, gets stored on a server, and the client requests each of those files. Now the reason it's called adaptive bitrate is we don't just create one file from a video stream, we create several files at different encoding rates and different qualities. So then the client can look at the conditions in the network and he can request the file that's most appropriate to the con conditions at the time. So if the network is running very quickly and he has a lot of bandwidth available, he can take a high quality file. If the network's congested, he may take a low quality file. And the intent is that that client on my tablet device or my PC can keep receiving video despite the network conditions and present a smooth stream, a smooth play out to the user. It doesn't see a stuttering effect. So perhaps the quality goes up or down a little bit, but the play out is continuous. I don't get the stop and refresh cycles. To the MSO, how well we handle adaptive bitrate video is going to be really key to the impression that the end consumer has of the network. Two reasons for that. One is over-the-top video from people like Netflix, which is happening now. That is more than 50% of the current high-speed data traffic at, at peak busy hour. So we're already delivering a lot of adaptive bitrate traffic. On top of that, each of the MSOs, they're looking at delivering some of their own video content also using adaptive bitrate, particularly to the second and third screens, to the smartphones, the tablets, the PCs. So my network as a whole is now has to support a lot of adaptive bitrate over that IP data network. How we're going to get measured by our customers and the end users of the network on how well we do that. So it's critically important that we do it well. When, when we normally deliver video over the network, the, the key difference is really that as an MSO, I'm in total control of what I deliver over that network. I decide how I'm going to encode the video, what bit rates I'm going to use. I decide how and when I'm going to stream that video across the network. I own the system end to end and I control it. As we just talked about adaptive bitrate, the clients are requesting different video streams and they're requesting them at different encoding rates depending on their perception of the network. So there's some interesting dynamics going on there. If I have lots of video clients requesting data rates at different data rates based on what each of them is seeing individually, there's some interesting questions. How fairly are they doing that? Is there a possibility that they'll sort of self-synchronize? They'll all ask for a high definition file. And because of that, the network will slow down as all those high quality files are delivered. So then they'll all request a low one. And I end up essentially with almost a sine wave on the network from high to low and people bouncing about. So we have to be able to figure out how can we control some of that despite not owning the end clients because they come with the smartphone or the tablet not even necessarily owning the servers it's delivered from because that could be an over-the-top provider. So we need to figure out what knobs in the network can I tweak to make the end-to-end -end experience for the user work.